Hey guys, it's your boy Rick here back with another Unbiased Review. This time we're going to do the historic Mayan Theater Club in downtown LA. We're going to do the uh, Paraiso event which is run by the Mayan Theater itself. Reggaeton and Latin vibes, cumbia, salsa, bachata, etc. Let's get started with the review. Here we go. With club fairness, I have to give it a full point. There is no line holding, no price gouging when it's a Mayan ran event in my opinion. It definitely does vary if there's another event or other events in the building in my opinion. I'll speak to those events later on. But for the Mayan events or at least this one, it's a $20 cover for the most part and you know, Feral Night. Full point for Club Fairness in my opinion. Club Security gets a full point. Rarely enough guys to do the job, pat you down, keep us safe. Full point for Club Security. Club Bar gets a zero in my opinion. The staff is friendly enough. In my opinion, they're pretty slow even when it's relatively empty in there or at least at the bar. The drinks are overpriced in my opinion, but it is downtown LA. Zero for the bar. The club vibe gets a full point as well. It's generally a good time in there. People are having fun. People are relatively friendly. There are three rooms and each one of them generally people are having a good time dancing, chilling, you know, singing. Definitely a full point for the club vibe overall. People are having a good time from what I've seen. Club safety gets a full point. It says security does their job. They pat you down. They keep us safe. These Mayan events have relatively decent people in there, not the worst crowd. People are relatively friendly and relatively respectful. I haven't seen drama there in a while. Full point for club safety overall. The music gets a full point as well. Each room delivers what they promise. They have different Latin themes for the most part. Some reggaeton, some salsa, bachata, cumbia. The main room also has top 40, reggaeton, hip hop, EDM, and they do play mostly the bangers. Full point for the club music overall. The uh, crowd attractiveness gets a half a point. I will say that there are some beautiful ladies in there at times. There's also some good looking fellas, but literally half of the crowd is probably a little below average in my opinion, or you know, average. So it's like literally half and half attractive people in there, half not so attractive. So half a point overall for the crowd attractiveness in my opinion. All right, now for the ratio, I do have to give it a half a point. It is my opinion that for the most part, it can be 50-50 guy and women ratio, but other times I believe that it's probably more men than women. Now, as far as the demographics go, here's where it gets a little bit interesting. On a regular Mayan event night, quite frankly, the age ranges from late 30s, mid 30s to about early 50s even. That definitely is mostly the uh, demographics on a given day. I'd say it's definitely an older crowd. It's probably about 70% an older crowd, in my opinion. It's not to say there's no people in their early 20s, late 20s, even early 20s. That is probably about 30% of the rest of the age groups in there. As far as ethnicities go, it's literally 95% Latino, Hispanic. I've seen some Caucasian people there occasionally. The rest also has been African American, maybe some Asian randomly. Half a point for man to women ratio overall. All right, now for the networking, aka hookup chances, I'm actually go ahead and give it a full point. How can I say this delicately? For fellas, especially if you're a younger fella, I did mention the age group and I did mention that the relatively attractiveness of the women here, half and half. There are bars and clubs dedicated for that term I'm thinking, I'd rather not say it. This club isn't one of them, but you know what I mean. Bottom line is, yeah, your chances are, are very likely here to meet a nice woman. Let's just say full on woman. And I know some homies that love coming here for that very reason. Let's just say they have a good track record here and I'd rather not comment on mine. Ladies, you have your pick here, particularly if you're you know, in your mid-20s, early 20s. That's not to say that the uh, beautiful women in the older age groups do not have their pick here, by the way. Ladies, I don't think you'll be over-approached. Full point for networking possibilities overall, though. Finally, the location gets a half a point. It is kind of in the middle of downtown LA where there's nothing else going on. Closer to 11th Street or something like that. Back in the day when the Velasco was a full-on club, it was definitely a good spot because you can move around between the two of you and I like in this one. But now you're just kind of stuck there. You can mingle outside after, but everybody just kind of leaves early. As you can see here, most of the people had already left. Maybe because it is an older crowd, LOL. The club itself, it's nice, it's beautiful, it's historic. It's a pretty cool, you know, old school building. It's a great architectural piece. Half a point for the location overall. Well guys, if you've been keeping score, the club scored a 7.5 out of 10 overall on my scale there. It's a good score. It's definitely not the worst in my opinion. It is definitely a good time if you like Latin, hip hop, reggaeton, good stuff like that. I definitely recommend it based on those factors alone. I would definitely recommend it too just because of the historical significance of the building in Los Angeles. Or at least check it out at one of their other events that come into the building. Definitely just remember the demographics I spoke of. I only think it's important because I know most people like to party with people similar to their age group. Just as I know that most people who are over 21 don't necessarily want to party with an 18 plus club. Well guys, thank you so much for checking out this unbiased review. Don't forget to follow. I got so many more for you coming within the next few weeks. Thank you.